Now where to begin? My parents name me Nur Farahin, but I prefer Farahin. I'm a medical physics student. Fourth year. I aspire to be a medical physicist. A responsible one. And this presentation is for a course called the ME438 Medical Imaging. Welcome back to my channel and we're going to talk about a new technology called Among male in Malaysia, and the seventh most common cancer among all the cancers. It is relatively high. But before that, Unirad is prostate condition. Some people are confused between prostate and testicles, which is mm -mm, not the same at all. Let me show you where it is positioned. Here, look at the picture that I've displayed. This is the urinary bladder. Uh, under the urinary bladder is the prostate. Okay, now that you know where it is positioned, do you know how it occurs? Before that, there's an interesting fact. As men, as men ages, their prostate also grows bigger in size. This is due to a process called new cell creation. This new cell creation is what causes the tumor to occur. Confusing? Cannot imagine? Don't worry, I'm here to help you. You see both of these pictures? You can clearly see the difference between both of these pictures. Okay, this is the normal course day. A position under the urinary planter and um, there is no problem at all. This is the normal size of the course day. But, mm -mm. The second picture you see the prostate is in bigger size and you can see how this prostate is compressing and putting pressure for the urethra this causes the urine from the urinary bladder to be difficult to be passed through but don't worry we have a life how to check my computer and do my research we have a new technology called HIFU or known as High Intensity Focus Ultrasound Ultrasound? Yes, Ultrasound Similar like the one that always use for pregnant ladies But that is for imaging, right? This HIFU can image and also treat prostate cancer So surprising Let's us call a virologist that knows more about this new technology called HIFU Let me call her one minute Hi Doctor Evelyn. Hi, how are you doing? I hope you can help us and tell us more about this new technology. Hi, who is it? Oh, sure, sure, I will explain it to you. Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Evelyn and I'm a urologist in SC Medical Center. Let me tell you more about the new technology called High Intensity Focus Ultrasound, or more known as HIV. Okay. So what is HIFU? How does it work? Before that, interesting fact. It is FDA approved and firstly was used in 2015. Okay, let's get back to the topic. HIFU is where the high intensity focus ultrasound is directed at the prostate to kill the cancer. Yep, key point, high intensity focus ultrasound. Confusing? Don't worry, I'm here to help you. Okay, let's measure this. Do you know how when the sunlight passes through magnifying lens and burns the paper? Because the sunlight focuses on the lens and put, provide a point on the paper and burns it? Exactly. That's how high flow works. A high intensity focus ultrasound will carry out the ultrasound beam and focus at a point for example, a tumor in the prostate, and then it will destroy the cancer. Okay, let's go in detail. I'll show you more pictures and videos on how this process is carried out. Now let me show you how it is done. 
Okay, so during the high field procedure, an ultrasound probe in the size of your index finger is inserted inside your rectum while you are asleep under anesthesia. Second is the positioning. So the probe will position itself up to the level of your prostate. Your prostate will immediately be located behind your rectum wall. Okay, and then the third step is the imaging. So how is it done? There is a component on your probe that is called imaging transducer. So this imaging transducer will scan your prostate to create a 3D computerized map of your entire prostate or the area to be treated. The fourth step is type. So how is it like? Your urologist will use a computer to view the image that the image transmitter has scanned before and will find a precise treatment plan for you. Okay, and then the treatment is carried out. So when the treatment is carried out, a focused wave of ultrasound will destroy the identified tissue. Each focus beam of energy will destroy about a rice green size of tissue at a time. So this session will continue on and on until all the disease tissue is completely destroyed. So the last step is that the imaging is done again by using ultrasound or MRI. But nowadays both MRI and ultrasound is used together to view the image. And that's it. That's it. That's how hyper works. Now let's talk about the advantages and disadvantages of hyper. The advantages of a hyper is that first day it has a short recovery period as it only takes two to three hours and you can go back home after that. Number two. It has a no pain procedure. Number three is that if you are a patient with a reoccurring tumor, you can still undergo high flu. The advantages of high flu is that high flu has less stressful procedures compared to other treatments such as surgery and also radiographic treatment. Let me explain the disadvantages of high flu treatment. So, like any other treatment in this whole no treatment that you will be 100% healed immediately after the treatment so by hook or by crook you will still have some side effects so some of the side effects of high flu is that you may have erectile dysfunction and your urinary tract might be affected so this is one of the side effects there might be like in your urine, so the list goes on. The normal one, you might have feel like your urine is not completely emptied. This discomfort is still will be felt. But don't worry, the doctors and your team will help you and guide you to help this discomfort. The second is advantageous is hypo is a new technology, so. The research and result about this treatment is really low. That means there's only up to about 15 years of result and what happened after 15 years is still remain unclear. And thirdly, the disadvantages is that only about 50 countries that have high food. So these are some of the disadvantages of high food. I think everyone, uh, if you have family that have meals, I think you should go or check yourself in the hospital to see if you have prostate cancer. And if that is, then you should introduce your loved one um, with this treatment called HIFO. I hope this um, video and this um, knowledge and facts about HIFO will help everyone and help you gain something from this. Thank you so much for watching this video and please don't forget to click like, subscribe.